Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome to the Journeyman Project, Pegasus Prime. So yeah, this is uh, an adventure game that I've kind of been curious about for a while now. I think I've tried, uh, maybe started uh, the second one, in, this is actually a trilogy, I think I started the second game, but I thought the inter interface wasn't very intuitive, so I kind of, kind of uh, pushed me away for a little bit. I thought it was a little too hard, but I st still wanted to give it another shot. So now that I have all, all three games in the trilogy, I might as well start with the first one. And this time I also read the manual, so I, I kind of know a little bit how to work the interface. So I wanted to see how well I do this time. And the main reason I wanted to give it a shot is, is because this is one of those games that is kind of like very, very similar to the Myst style of games, like a first person point and click adventure, lots of interesting story and puzzles and in fact this was made by Presto Studios which would later on work on Myst 3. <laughs> so kind of interesting to see uh, uh, what, what the what the, their games were like before they made Myst 3. <laughs> if they really were. I mean I, I mean, imagine this them making this game was one of the reasons they were chosen to make Myst 3 so <laughs> kind of curious to see what it's like. It does have a pretty weird story. I mean, it feels from the I, I only started the very very beginning to like capture a few footage for the the future games montage, and from my what I saw already, it like it feels like I'm watching a, a sci-fi TV show from the '90s. <laughs> so very interesting. Uh, there's a, a story from the manual that I, I read here. That I want to check out. There you go. <clears throat> You know, with these the games, the retro games that I stream, I like reading the manual not only to learn how to play, because some of them don't really explain in the game how to play, but also get a little bit of a lore behind the what's happening, which also sometimes doesn't get explained in the game itself. <laughs> so here you go. Our story begins in the Skyborne metropolis of Kaldoria in the fall of 2318. The unified world is finally at peace, but only as a result of the perseverance of a people determined not to repeat the great wars of the 21st century. Wait, what, what wars in the 21st century? <laughs> Over a century ago, in the year 2185, came the first of a series of events which would forever alter the course of human existence. The pilot of a cargo shuttle de delivering construction materials to the Morimoto Mars colony spotted an alien spacecraft. Soon after the sighting, the ship sped off at the light speed into deep space. The landing bay's scanners confirmed and documented the encounter, and the existence of intelligent alien life forms had been proven. But it wasn't until 2308 that true contact was made with an alien race. Earth was approached by visitors who called themselves the Cyrolans? I think is that how you pronounce it? Uh, the purpose of their visit was to invite humanity to join the symbiotry of peaceful beings, an alliance of intelligent beings whose objective is to benefit from the sharing of knowledge and culture. The Cyrolans stated that they would give us ten years to deliberate their proposal, after which a delegation would arrive to extend a formal invitation. Now, on the eve of the Cyrolans' return, has come an invention which jeopardizes all that we have achieved. Time travel technology. Though originally hailed as a possible gateway to the mysteries of our past, was soon realized to be potentially more dangerous than any weapon ever created. For this reason, the government formed the Temporal Protectorate. A member, as a member of this elite team, it is your job to safeguard history from sabotage. You monitor the space-time continuum from the Temporal Security Annex, a top-secret installation where where lies Pegasus, the only time machine known to be in existence? But so long as the technology to create such a machine exists, the threat of temporal sabotage remains. So yeah, that's the that's the plot. There's aliens, there's in the future, future tech, and and time travel as well. And yeah, from what I read of the manual, this is not one of those safe adventure games. It is possible to die in this game, and it, and. There apparently there might be multiple solutions to the same problem, so I'm kind of nervous about how how if I will be able to approach this if I'll be have any success in some cases. But either way, let's get started. 
Huh? Force the game out of full screen. <laughs> Does it work? is 2318. The location, the skyborne metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible me memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded, the unified Earth government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member That's of this me. team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Protectorate, would be called upon to prevent a crisis that will threaten history itself. A crisis that could destroy not only the past, but also the future of humankind. Oh dear. This is the story of Earth's most timely hero. <laughs> most timely hero, get it? <laughs> yes, he already looks like the intro to a TV show. Epic time travel adventure begins. Let's go. Mm. I don't need interface overview. I already read the manual. But there, apparently, there's a way to play this game without puzzles if you just want to explore and experience the story. If you go to difficulty walkthrough mode, you won't have to solve any puzzles. But yeah, I'm here to solve puzzles. Let's go. Earth welcomes the symbiote of peaceful, peaceful beings. Must be the Cyroland ship. <laughs> That's Caldoria. <laughs> Floating city. Oh dear. You are with me. I'm John Yego, and you're listening to the mellow sounds of WKIM Too Big. Oh, it was all a dream. Hopefully not a premonition. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Don't tell me you overslept. Um. Whoa, you look awful. Hey. Do you have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway, this is just a friendly reminder that uh, you're supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws, and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Roland delegate procession. Look, I always That's wanted it. to be the Lone Ranger. Now, get down here on time for a change, and I'll let you watch my odd man when I come back. See you later. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> oh, this is my room. Good morning, Agent 5. Good morning. It seems that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Your monocle needs recalibration. Stand by. The energy <laughs> level warning light is operational the energy level counter is at 100 percent okay scrolling through the inventory control panel mm -hmm. okay this is how you open control panel this is how you open biochip okay 
Agent 5, you are due for your shift at the Temporal Security Annex. Recommend departure soon. Let me get ready first. Look around my apartment. Huh. Uh, where is this? Oh. Wait. Uh, I think that's the front door. Hang on. Gotta get ready first. Yeah, my arc my icon is this hand. Uh, I think it changes when it, there's something I can interact with. Yeah, a little, a little tricky to change things in like these ninety degrees views, but manageable. I got a message. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. You have two messages. Oh, that's my name, Gage Back Blackwood. Wait, doesn't wasn't that the one name that they mentioned in the in the intro about someone causing a disaster? <laughs> First message. Just calling to say thanks for the Thai food last night. Sorry I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me iron byron system. I'll call you later. Bye. Mm, looks kind of scary. <laughs> Second message. Good morning, Agent 5. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. Uh oh. You've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change. To relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. Alright, alright. Uh. Oh. Stuff and put it here. Okay. Hard key ring. Agent five, oh. you are late for your scheduled shift at the TSA. Oh no. Hang on, hang on. Uh, what was this? Currently Automatic phone. General cycle. Duracane microweave setting. Estimated time to completion: approximately three hours. Yeah, I can't wait that long. <laughs> oh, bathroom. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Stand by for health check scan. Your body fat today is 15%. Today's <laughs> That's tip, me. cut back on the Chinese takeout. Please choose a hairstyle. Whoa. Retro thrash? Agency standard? Geowave. What is Geowave? Geowave. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. <laughs> what is retro thrash? Retro thrash. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. The mirror just instantly changes my hairstyle? Agency standard. Okay. I kind of comb, comb it back here, just like I I have right now. <laughs> A little privacy. <laughs> Aliens Wait, land at Capitol. At precisely 6 a.m. West Coast time, a Sorolan space vehicle entered Earth's atmosphere and landed on the lawn in front of Caldoria's Capitol building. Although the city square is being kept clear for the ceremony, Crowds of onlookers have formed on the fringes, eager to catch a glimpse of the Sorolan ambassador as he emerges from the spacecraft to shake hands with Dr. Castillo, symbolizing our acceptance into the symbiotry of peaceful beings and forever changing the course of human events. Stay tuned in for <laughs> Very convenient. They project the news, the newspaper <laughs> in front of you while you're, while you're using the toilet. <laughs> Uh, I think I can take a shower or Sonic shower. Please keep all appendages within the sterilization ring. 
sonic shower. <laughs> complete. Have a nice day. That was quick. Uh, okay, this is where that where I went, went in, right? Yeah. Okay, that goes to my bedroom. Oh wait, there's something flashing on the table there. How do I look down? <laughs> oh. Sit down. Look at this. Following is a special report from INN. Is this how you watch TV in the future? Good morning, Caldoria. I'm Mark Johnson. INN has just been notified that the Symbiotry Ambassador ship landed moments ago and a fleet of Cyrolan ships has approached Earth and is now in geosynchronous orbit over Kaldoria. Our reporter Megan Love is live on the scene at the Capitol building where the alien procession is scheduled to take place. Megan, can you describe what's going on down there? Thank you, Mark. There's a tremendous crowd on hand to witness this historic event and the atmosphere can only be described as electric. As most of our watchers know, it was in 2308, just three years after the World Unification Accords held in Gorbistan, that Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they call the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. They told the world that the purpose of this alliance is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then hmm. left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return, and all along the streets, the people of Keldoria are waiting for the gates to open so they can catch a glimpse of the Sirolan delegate from the Capitol lawn. We will keep you informed with up-to-the-minute reports about this historic event. For the Interactive News Network, I'm Megan Love. Interactive News Network. <laughs> this has been a special I report from INN. Yeah, I really shouldn't be watching TV right now. I'm late. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't change your audio and visual selections at any time. Cool. Just project an environment into your living room. Mountain. This or module blank. is blank. For information on ordering additional environments and music selections, please contact the management. Hmm. Change the music. Is that gear rhythms? Okay. Acoustics. Okay. Enough messing around. Four D system. <laughs> I think I skipped a message from her. Uh, she's probably going to say that I'm, I'm late again. Elevator in the middle. Here we go. <laughs> Sound if I try to go into a locked door. Second floor. Third floor. Fourth floor. Hmm. Who's that? Hmm. Yeah. 
think control S allows me to save. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Should I go to the roof and check out what whoever whoever that was or go straight down? Kind of curious. Roof access. No. Uh, uh. Hmm. Rooftop observatory closed. Hmm. Suspicious. No, oh, I guess there's not nothing I can do. Forgetting to open the door before I go forward. <laughs> okay, okay, lobby, I guess. Yeah. Fourth floor. Yeah, do you ex expect the buildings here to be taller, I guess. Only, f only four floors. Second. This, in this apartment building. You always see the future metropolis with really tall sky rises. Hey, we can see the ship from here. Tracking eye movement. Enhance. <laughs> okay. Also look at the ship, I guess. I wonder, is that, is that where we're going? Uh, wait, there's something here. Welcome to the Caldoria Heights Apartments, with the best view of the world's first floating metropolis. While here, feel free to visit our rooftop observatory. Located directly across from the Capitol building in Sector 3, Caldoria mm. Heights plays to a number of luxurious accommodations. Mm. Our 15 units offer ample living space and the very best views of the city. Aluminized steel plumbing and titanium bathroom fixtures are standard. And topping off this list of distinctive features is a high-res 4D environment system built into each and every living room. Yeah, I saw it. Designed for metro properties by Marco Giappetti, Calduria Heights offers comfortable accommodations in an attractive environment. An ad for the apartments right at the entrance? <laughs> and yeah, now I'm kind of even more suspicious about that person. They just, they say that the roof is across from the, from the... This building? That was that person a sniper or something? Are they about to assassinate the aliens or the ambassador? Global transporter. Hmm. I guess we don't. We're not going to exit the building. We're going to get transported somewhere else. That's how you travel here. transport card now global transport card uh here yeah my transport card is here oh hang on here there you go choose a destination hard rock tokyo tsa flint love beach I kind of want to go to the beach, but go to the TSA. Foreign organism detected in transport. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign <laughs> element eliminated. Oh. Preparing destination transporter. Record Could have been bad. Organic substrate. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Wait, what? Yeah, you don't want to get transporter 
transported somewhere along with a fly. I've seen what happens. Thank you, Mr. Gold. Okay. Made it. Oh. I think I'm being scanned. human encounter with alien beings. Sorry. What is that? Roberto Jimenez, first unified Earth president. The role of government is to protect the innocent and promote peace. With this new unified world, the Earth stands on the verge of a peace that will forever change the face of humanity. Hmm. Do you like pictures of pre of past presents? Or what counts as pictures in the future? Holograms? Dr. Alisa Crenshaw, inventor of the first faster than light drive. Equipped with a faster than light drive. Humans can once again unfurl their sails and navigate a new and endless black sea by the light of billions and billions of bright stars. <laughs> it all look creepy. <laughs> Welcome, Agent 5. Proceed to the command center. Okay. Didn't I see you in Robocop 2 or something? <laughs> uh. Oh, wait, no. Click. Dr. Seiji Matsumoto, inventor of the cybernetic cortical matrix. The design of the cortical matrix was based on a neural net of the human brain. Like children, these constructed beings will evolve and grow, and from them we must also learn. Hmm. Okay. Like the the blue AI that I have here. Doctor Enrique Castillo, Earth's first ambassador to the symbiotry of peaceful beings. As we have struggled on Earth to blind our eyes to the differences that have separated us in the past, so must we now, as a unified people, acknowledge and welcome the differences of races from planets other than our own. Got it. Um, where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, where I work? Uh, how do I get in? Another day at the job, at the office. So you finally decided to make it into work, and only 32 minutes late this time. Mm. Obviously, you think TSA rules do not apply to you. Well, you are wrong. As of now, you're grounded. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center, and you can mm. start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, which you've obviously forgotten. Hurry. TSA Temporal Security Annex. Okay. 
Let's read read the operations review. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When mm -hmm. someone travels through time, a tunnel is created, which originates when the travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, the theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. Mm -hmm. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave. It could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. Hmm. As a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. One main caution exists. When time jumping, never allow the energy level that sustains the temporal link between yourself and the Pegasus device to be depleted, for integrity failure of this conduit will end any possibility of returning to the present. Hmm, I see. So, yeah, kind of a way to stop the paradoxes from happening is if the effects from the temporal change doesn't follow you into the past <laughs> okay yeah i guess it kind of works almost like in the back to the future movies or if you jump back in time before you uh if you or if you're time traveling during while the changes are occurring you you, you retain your memories <laughs> even if everything else changes around you procedure in the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history the procedure hey, is as follows as quickly as possible get to the ready room and retrieve your assigned mapping and pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from their storage containers the pegasus biochip is your link to pegasus mm. it is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button next enter the bio support suit generator the bio support suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. After you're outfitted okay. for travel and before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. Hmm. To discover how history has been changed, return to the Temporal Security Annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be okay. cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind and altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history further, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never okay. remove any historically significant objects from an environment. And above mm. all, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Why do I have a feeling I'll be, break out every one of those rules? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm currently learning about time travel in this game. And yeah, I've actually read this, this in the manual. The, the way they figure out how to uh, know what, how and when, how time has been changed is by having two logs of, of Earth's history. One is, is stored 200 million years in the past. And the other is stored in the present and apparently because it's the one in stored in the past doesn't get affected by any changes the way you know that history has been changed is by going traveling back in time grabbing the the log in the past and then coming back to the future and comparing the two logs so if, if they are different that means something changed and then you know exactly uh, what changed and when and gotta go back and fix it 
kind of weird. Yes, yeah, just much like many other uh, sci-fi uh, content that has time travel, they have their own set of rules of how it works. Background. Accelerating space-time transporter V1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian and full-time physicist Dr. Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel, now a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from potential sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Hmm. I'm a secret agent. Cool. Uh oh. Um, um, um. Wait, wh what did she say I need to do it again? Dear God, it's finally happened. And with you of all people on duty, Gage, this is it. Hey. It all depends on you. Get to the ready room. Let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. Get the suit. Get the card. Journeyman, the card. Uh. Part of temporal distortion. Uh, hang on. Uh, might as well save. <laughs> Guess I messed this up. Uh. Uh. Yeah, because like I said, I think this this game allows you. It is possible to fail and die. <laughs> so I don't want to have to repeat s stuff. So I'm gonna try and save at s certain key moments. Yeah, I have, like as like, like the AI said, I have to keep an eye on energy levels while I'm time traveling because. If it goes on the red, I have to come back immediately, otherwise I get stranded in the past. Uh, is it on this side? I haven't been here yet, so it might be. Ready room, here we go. Um... One of these capsules has not the suit that I'm supposed to wear. Temporal rip emergency confirmed. Initiating protocol. Access authorized for Agent 5 G Blackwood. What is that? Uh, uh I think. Uh, wait, how do I? Up here? There you go. Journeyman key, yeah. Ceramic handle, rosary, okay. Uh, do all these have journeyman keys or do these, each one has something different? Oh, mission biochips. Okay. Might need Temporal this too. Rip emergency confirmed. Access authorized for Agent 5G Blackwood. Preparation complete for mapping biochip, Pegasus biochip. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I completely forgot what she meant, what I meant, what she told me to do. So. Uh, okay. Biochips go here. Wait, what? Okay, I do have the Pegasus, the Pegasus, and the mapping biochips. Uh, so where's my suit? Is it here? This in the middle? What? Or is it one of those robots in, like in the the cover there? Okay, I think 
I think there's nothing to else to do here. And I get the feeling this thing in the middle is the Pegasus. Oh yeah, this is one of these two robots, the, the suit that I meant to wear. Robot, so. Uh, Agent 5, you are hereby ordered to proceed to the command room by order of Commander Baldwin. Uh, what do I do again? <laughs> yeah, like I said, kind of <clears throat> kind of hard to sometimes nav navigate this environment if I. Uh, you can only change 90 degrees at a time. Where do I put this key again? Maybe in my... Somewhere here in my... In my... Uh, station? I'm kind of figuring this out as I go, so... distortion wave going oh looks like it's arriving at the present soon We've gotta have limited time to figure this out uh, what is this yeah I got what about these biochips Pegasus biochip. Do anything with it? Mission breathing environment scan. Hmm. Oh wait, hang on. What if I do this? Uh. Yeah, the icon will change if I hover it over over a place that I can interact with it. So. Okay, maybe it was back there in the, the the other room. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so I got the journeyman key. So where or is it? Is this key for after I've arrived in the past and so so I can. Unlock the the vault where the the journeyman disc is stored. Yeah, how do I get down there? Oh wait, do, do I use the transport? See anywhere else to go except here. This is just a ready room. Oh uh, dear, already already getting stuck. Wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, there are only two lockers, right? I already got Wait, what? What is that? Oh, here you go. I had to come approach it from behind. With emergency mission in progress. Pegasus access authorization confirmed for Agent 5 G Blackwood. Prepare okay. for biosuit encapsulation. Ultrasonic body type assessment. Mesomorphic. 
screen for scanning exact body dimensions. Yeah, sometimes I guess I'll have to. Please keep hands inside turbo lift. Pay attention to where I'm going and where I can go, because it's not always obvious. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm suited up. Ready to time travel. Got the key. Yeah, I thought the suit was going to be like that, that robot. But apparently it's just a suit. Uh... Yeah, they really would like making you go around objects, don't they? Uh... Okay, how do I... How do I activate the time machine? Oh, here we go. Uh, I guess I go inside. <laughs> uh, give me a break, this is my first day on the job. Agent 5, do not attempt to leave Pegasus. TSA protocol strictly mandates that the Pegasus remain sealed from all outside contact once a temporal repair mission is initiated. Remember, this protocol exists to protect the TSA agent from the effects of temporal anomalies that may have occurred in the corrupted time stream. Okay. All right, Gage. The world has only one hope, and it's you. I pray that after the rip hits, TSA will still be here for you to transport back to. Good luck. I'll do, try my, I'll do my best. We must immediately activate Pegasus before the approaching temporal distortion wave reaches the present. You will be traveling back to the year 200 million BC to recover the journeyman historical log. After obtaining the disk, you will initiate your auto recall function, returning you to the Pegasus. Once okay. you have returned, you must compare the corrupted and uncorrupted histories of the planet and determine the most likely origins of the distortions. Uh, jump. Prepare for time jump. are currently 124 meters above the rocky shoreline below. Please exercise appropriate caution and dexterity. Yeah, now we see the energy meter there. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm just gonna go the other way. Okay, let's save again. <laughs> Why does it say Leo 2 is not saving multiple multiple uh, files? Leo 3? Wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it is saving. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, guess I gotta find the vault wherever the journeyman disc is. Try not to get eaten by a dinosaur. Uh. Nope. Uh. Oh. This looks promising. Empathetic surface detected. Yep. Yeah. Place uh. on scanner for ID verification. Okay. Oh! 
And I'm dead. Face plant. As you plummeted to your death, the last thought you go through your mind was that you should have paid more attention to the AI warning. Okay. Uh, restore Leo food. Hmm. It told me to place my hand there. I placed my, I guess, placed my finger, but why, why didn't it turn on the, I guess, the bridge? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably where I need to insert this key. I need to activate. Hand on scanner for ID verification. Okay. What's going on? Why is it not working? Uh... Hmm. I need to place my hand on the scanner, but... Uh, malfunctioning? If I press forward here, I'll just die again. So. Uh, by going the other way, maybe. That way? Can I go that way? Ooh, yeah, you can go lots of ways. Yeah, yeah wasn't there a biochip for mapping? No. Hmm. Okay. Unavailable in pressurized environments. Something I need to find around here? Oh, hello. What's this? Mm. Probably something that repairs whatever was malfunctioning back there. I know my adventure games, they are usually, there's usually, like, whatever turns on the machine is usually way, way far away from the machine it turns on. <laughs> you need to press a button on, on the other side of the map to get something else to work. <laughs> See if that did anything. There we go. Disc. Agent 5, you have accomplished your mission and recovered the journeyman historical log. You must now return quickly to the temporal security annex and review the disc. Good question. How do I do that? Uh, maybe this Pegasus biochip? Oh, here you go. Recall. Downloading Agent 5 mission information. Hi. What are you doing joyriding in the Pegasus? Your uh, research reconnaissance mission was not scheduled until... Wait a minute, what's that uniform you're wearing? What's that look on your face? 
You have a lot of questions to answer, soldier. Once you have finished logging your report on the command center, I want to see you in my office immediately. Looks like the present has been changed. Oh dear. Uh. I mean, if he's in charge of a temporal security annex, shouldn't he like be aware <laughs> whenever something wrong happens? I mean, if, or at least recognize that the reason why I, all this is going on is because I'm in the middle of solving a problem. I hope I don't have to explain too much, I guess. Back to the command center. Yeah. yeah, starting to get the hang of this whole time travel thing. My office looks the same. Mm, what is this? Uh, is this where I put the disc? Caldoria Ever Metropolis. Affected event, not an actual source. Temporal rip. Oh, sorry, Colorado, that's 48%. Oh, wait, there are multiple multiple missions I can go to? I guess I'll go to this one. The highest percentage of of chance of success. Uh, what is this? Mana. Altered. Eight three twenty one eighty five oh eight hundred hours. Morimoto Corporation's Mars Colony project suddenly went offline last night, just moments after the pilot of the cargo shuttle spotted an unidentified spacecraft in the area. While it is still unclear what has happened, many believe that the colony may have been destroyed by a malevolent alien race. Repeated efforts to contact the colony have met with no success, but before the comm link to the colony was terminated, the sighting of the alien spacecraft, its rapid departure, and a subsequent unexplained explosion were recorded by long-range sensors on Phobos and verified by Earth authorities. Yeah, that's not what happened. Unaltered. August 3rd, 2185. Early today, the pilot of a cargo shuttle approaching the Morimoto Mars colony spotted an unidentified spacecraft in orbit over the colony. The sighting was verified by landing base scanners and immediately reported to Earth. Soon after, the ship sped off towards the outer reaches of the solar system. This first governmentally verified encounter with an alien race has already prompted the leaders of the world to start emergency closed-door meetings to discuss the implications of this monumental event. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe someone went back in time and blew up this colony to sabotage our our meeting with the aliens, make them make us think that they were hostile when they were really not. Okay, I guess we can watch the rest. Of what is? What, okay, let's see what happened and then what what was altered. May fifteenth, two thousand one hundred twelve. The government of Gorbistan appears ready to agree to the terms of the worldwide unification treaty being set forth by the United Nations. However, 
At least one terrorist faction disagrees with the terms of the plan and has expressed this disagreement by taking hostages. Nevertheless, it appears that the Worldwide Unification Treaty will be signed by Gorbistan and all other nations of the world. Okay. What, what happened in this timeline? 5, 15, 21, 12, 1400 hours. Today, amid negotiations to work out the final details oh of the Worldwide Unification Treaty, a nuclear missile was launched by the United States toward the country of Gorbistan. The missile, however, self-destructed before actually touching down. Hmm. Before the scare, the leaders of this country appear to be ready to accept the terms of the peace plan. Although the U.S. officials have repeatedly stated that they don't understand how the missile could have been launched, other foreign governments have already said that they cannot possibly sign a treaty with a country that would use such scare tactics. Thus, the Worldwide Unification Treaty, which has come so close to realization, now has little or no chance for ratification. Uh. Yep, looks like someone went back in time and fired that missile. Uh, World Science Center. Uh. January 17th, 2310. The Symposium on Alien Contact began today at the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia. The debate centered around New whether Sydney. humans are ready for interaction with alien races. One speaker, Dr. Enrique Castillo, had a particularly moving speech. Dr. Castillo embarrassed the naysayers by systematically shooting down their arguments and thrilled the attending scientific community with visions of medical and technological advances which could be gained by such interaction. Although there were strong keynote speeches on both sides of the argument, most of those in attendance appeared to be in favor of alien contact. Yeah, we saw him in on the holograms, the entrance. 1, 17, 23, 10, 1800 oh hours. Dr. Enrique Castillo, a well-known biologist and advocate for establishing alien relations, was murdered earlier today. During his speech at the Symposium on Alien Contact in New Sydney, Australia, Castillo was speaking on stage at the World Science Center when the single shot from an unknown assailant was fired. He was later pronounced dead on arrival at the Darling Harbor Medical Complex. The murderer is still at large. Dr. Castillo was the most outspoken at the debates and firmly believed that contact with alien races would be beneficial to humanity. Although his views were not mainstream, Dr. Castillo's contributions to the pro-alien movement will be greatly missed. Hmm. And yeah, this one, affected event, not an actual source of a temporal rift, rip. So whoever, so are these like multiple things that someone went back in time and changed and I have to fix all of them? Or do I have, do I, can I only fix one and the rest will fix themselves? <laughs> kind of curious to see what this is. More than a century after the first confirmed sighting of a UFO, aliens have finally made contact with Earth. Early this morning, a huge triangular-shaped vehicle entered into Earth's orbit. After three hours, the spacecraft came through the atmosphere and hovered over Caldoria. Moments later, the following message was transmitted over all communication frequencies. We are the Sorothians. Please do not be alarmed. We have come because we feel that you are ready. You have reached a point where you are no longer dangerous to yourselves or others. This is why we have chosen to invite you to join us, the symbiotry of peaceful beings. We are an alliance of sentient beings whose objective is to benefit from the sharing of knowledge and culture. We know that it will take some time to fully comprehend the significance of this encounter, so we will give you the opportunity to deliberate our proposal. On the same day, ten years from now, the Swollen Delegate will visit you to extend a formal invitation to join the Symbiotry. Until then, we look forward to meeting you in person. Hmm. And as suddenly as they had appeared, the Sorolans departed, leaving Earth to ponder the implications of their existence and their incredible proposal. 
So it will only take 300 years for humans to be not be considered a danger to themselves and others. <laughs> I can't wait. What happened? Today, 123 years after the first official UFO encounter, an alien spacecraft entered into Earth's orbit. After several hours of silence and mounting tension, the aliens transmitted the following message over all communication frequencies. We will return when you are ready. While no one is quite sure what this message means, many leaders have voiced concern about interacting with an obviously powerful and potentially dangerous alien race. Okay, so because we weren't unified, and because we were suspicious, suspicious of the aliens. I was alerted that you had the historical log. I began monitoring your actions. Oh. I just downloaded the information regarding the temporal distortions. I still can't believe it has really happened. I'm reviewing all of the information about this planet, but it's obvious I can't risk sending you back to change things now. My life oh. and the only world I have ever known is at stake, and, and no one, no matter what the regulations say, is going to change it for better or worse. As of this moment, consider yourself a hostile enemy of the state. What? I'm sending robots one and two to guard the command center door until I can figure out how to dispose of you. I'm sorry, Agent Five, but once I destroy the historical log you brought back from the prehistoric site, the only memories of your world will be in your head. And that's where they're going to stay. Oh no. Um. Uh, now what? Auto activation of contingency program 13. Which states, hmm? any attempt to obstruct a TSA agent while on a mission is a direct violation of TSA Regulation 11. Override code implemented. Attempting to establish link with Command Central Computer Core. I.O. link established. Agent 5, you may now utilize the TSA Central Computer. Hmm. Can I order the robots to... Move. Rerouting robots. Okay. Rerouting robots. Uh, go to the main entrance. New target acquired. Rerouting robots. Rerouting robots. Okay, that should do it. Yep. We have to go back, Marty. Change the path. <laughs> not, not the timeline. Not the timeline I want to be in. anticipate that they would be hostile towards changing the past or fixing the past I should say <laughs> access authorized for agent 5g Blackwood biosuit detected suit already in place please keep hands inside turbulent temporal Pegasus catapult so now we'll I will get to pick which time zone I go to. In fact, from actually from what I read on the manual, I think you can move between time zones, go to one, then to another, and maybe even uh, like pick an object in one time zone and use it in another. Which was <laughs> exactly what they warned not to do. Sure, we can figure something out. I will give you anything. No, nope, can't trust you. SA Regulation 11. All communication and data links to the outside must be severed to prevent possible obstructions from hindering the completion of the mission. Phew. Now proceeding with the IO isolation procedures. Okay, jump menu, yeah. 
Time bending preparations complete. You may now choose your temporal destination. Okay. So should you go to the earliest one? I think the middle one was the one. This one was not. Not a. Uh, yeah, this is around 10 years before the, the aliens arrived. This is not a temporal source of the temporal rift, right? 031, or oh, wait, no, it was. Yeah, no, 308 is the, was one of the, it is, this is when Enrique was, Castillo was assassinated. That was his name. This was when the ship, the Mars colony was blew up. And this is when the nuclear missile was fired prevented the earth from being unified so this was had the the highest chance of success maybe i'll go here first save wait no here yeah morimoto con colony and jump about to travel to the Morimoto Mars colony during the year 2185. Analysis of the compared history records indicates that there are two events that did not occur in the correct history. Mm -hmm. The Morimoto colony should not have been destroyed and the alien ship orbiting Mars should have been able to leave undamaged. You must okay. ensure that these events unfold properly in order to restore the correct order of events. Yeah, I just hope I don't get destroyed along with the colony. <laughs> kind of dangerous to travel, time travel to a place you know is going to be blown up. Just departed from the East Gantry. Hmm. Where am I? Oh yeah, I gotta, gotta remember not to interact with anyone, not pick anything up, not leave anything behind. Always keep the butterfly effect in mind. The French. Spanish. Welcome to the Morimoto Mars Colony. Have a wonderful stay. English. Hmm. Uh. Colony for information. Like a celestial siren, Mars lures us to its inhospitable shores with visions of unearthly splendor. Thanks to an atmospheric energy shield, you can enjoy the majestic volcano Olympus Mons, the vast canyon Coprates Minor, and many of Mars's other natural wonders from within the comfort of Morimoto Corporation's Mars Colony. The generator for the colony's atmospheric shield lies far beneath the planet's surface. The legacy hmm. of the miners whose abandoned caverns this colony is built over. Construction of the colony should be completed by June of 2190. Please enjoy your stay. It's not completed yet. I mean, 2185. Yeah, now I wonder, should I have gone back further in time to make sure the Earth is unified? Because maybe that might affect events here. Was that why that robot was so rude? <laughs> the newly erected Morimoto colony rests on the edge of the vast canyon. The colony's gantry, which contains the shuttle docking bay, spans over the Red Canyon. 
A closer That's where I am. look at the gantry reveals its 140 foot stretch across the canyon and the three yeah. cockpit module nodes which transport pilots to and from the ships. After launching from the docking bay, shuttles circle the narrow canyon toward the accelerator tube built on the central plateau. The tube allows launch shuttles to easily escape the thin atmosphere of Mars. You are currently in the entry hall of the shuttle port. To your right and left are portions of the old mining colony, which have not yet been renovated. These areas are for authorized personnel only. The main entrance to the colony is behind you. Welcome, and please enjoy your stay. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess it's just sites and colony, not information. Okay. locations I mean they say it was restricted but tunnel pod has just arrived in upper transport sector hmm. what's this uh, map for current conditions yeah, did someone plant a bomb in one of the tunnels, maybe? Hmm. Reactor level. In here? So I might have to go here, so... Uh, do I have to remember which paths are, are the correct ones, I guess? Let's see. Left, left, right. Right, right, left. Left, left, right, 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 left. And then keep going left. Easy enough. Left, left, right, 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 left. Yeah. Just in case I need to drive this thing. Crowbar. Oh. Please insert security access card now. Uh. I don't have one. Will this work? <laughs> Just bang on it. Uh. I don't think my my card works. But yeah, debit card transfer. I might have to pick the. Pick this up, this card up somewhere else. Yeah, don't, don't think I can. Don't think I can use this transport just yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I use this? Still not. Mapping biochip still not available. Oh wait, can I, can I click on environment scan? You are in the Morimoto Mars colony. Oh, that <laughs> describes where I am, okay. Uh, okay, look somewhere else maybe. Yeah, I haven't been into the colony itself, so maybe. I'll check what's on the other side first. Whoops. Keep skipping her messages. Warning. Life support systems not active beyond this point. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, rule of thumb, never go to a place where life support is not active. And yeah, I can already see my energy level going down here, so unfortunately this is a, an adventure game with a time mechanic where, I mean... All arriving tourists are required to check in at reception area. Please refer to gantry kiosks for maps and information on the Morimoto Mars colony. 
time limit or huh because I can't go there uh, where can I go then how do I get a, an access card uh, can I go here warning Light support systems not active beyond this point. Hmm. Just save, just in case. First try. In. but hope I survive I did not survive <laughs> to not get too comfortable in that ore bucket it may have felt like a nice safe haven until you were drawn into a grinding teeth of an ore crusher uh, yeah good thing I saved yeah I can actually Check my scores. Uh, 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 evaluation. Of, uh, I'm, I think. I, I guess I did everything I needed to do in the prehistoric era. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll use that. This uh, item Warning. that I did. Light support systems not active beyond this point. Yeah. Probably if I if I click spin before pressurize, I'll I'll die right away. But I'll just check. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, wait, hang on. Yeah, this power crowbar. Keep this handy. I might need it. Need to stop these those gears from crushing me. Oh, you get oh. Now get a mapping badge. Uh, wait, let's see. I just put this crowbar anywhere. Oh, the airlock you slid shut behind you. You generalize your mistake. Gas before oxygen collapsed in person in a matter of moments. But I, I pressurized this already. Huh. Well, I guess they did say life support was not available, but... I thought it was just not available right now. <laughs> Warning! Life support systems not active beyond this point. Maybe it's, uh, it has pressure, but not air? Or it's suffocated? Yeah, I can't press it. Can't pressurize anymore, so. Someone on time limit here. Uh. Okay. Maybe on the bucket. Yeah, I can't do anything once I'm inside the bucket, so... Guess I have to stop the gears before I, I go inside? Hmm. Or make, maybe make them go down? Keep this ready. Warning! Light support systems not active beyond this point. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
so many gears in order to, in order to, in order to put this. We didn't have time to check. Oh. Maybe I don't have what I need uh, for this timeline. Maybe I have to go to another timeline, get another object, another item, and then I'll be able to come here again. Survive that. Yeah. Well, I did. I did get get one item, which I'm. Maybe I won't use it here, maybe I'll use it somewhere else. So I guess I'll let yeah, let's try another another time another time period. Which I guess uh I'll recall first, go back to the Pegasus and then go somewhere else. Uh, yeah, let's go to the original the first. You are about to travel to the underwater military installation Norad 6. In the altered history, an unauthorized missile launch leading to a nuclear explosion over the world unification talks ends the peace conference in Gorbistan, creating a resurgence of the nuclear proliferation of the 20th century. Your mission is to restore the proper flow of history by stopping the missile launch from occurring. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Every time zone can have a rude robot. <laughs> Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. Oh dear. Huh. So someone must have deployed a sleeping gas in the base, and that's how they managed to activate the missile? Yeah, everyone's asleep. Hello. Hey, is the reason that why the robots are so rude because they someone hacked them or something? Yep. Sleeping gas filled your lungs and overwhelmed you. Awakening the holding cell, you find yourself out of energy and stranded in the past. Okay. I get the feeling I need to find a mask or breathing apparatus or something before I go into both of these areas. So, I'll try the, uh, the third one. Stop uh, the scientists from being assassinated. You are about to travel to the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia, in the year 2310. In the corrupted history, an influential scientist, Dr. Enrique Castillo, is assassinated during his speech at the Symposium on Alien Contact. Mm -hmm. Without his impassioned arguments for the benefits of sharing culture with other races, the sentiment of the scientific community toward alien contacts swings to an isolationist attitude drastically altering history. Hmm. Preparing for time jump. Uh-oh. 
Wait, what? Uh, your bicycle has been penetrated by a small projectile. Want to remove it? Yes. You have just been shot with a dart coated with an unknown toxin. Your vital signs are beginning to fluctuate. Oh dear. Your body is able to filter out all but seven micrograms of the toxin. The substance is a lethal neurotoxin and must be neutralized quickly, or you will perish. Uh, how do I do that? Nuclear Laboratories Molecular Synthesizer Interface SL one hundred C dash one. Um, 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 um. Compound analyzer. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me I have to solve a puzzle <laughs> before I build, like, make this antidote. Uh, Doctor Sinclair, your messages have been forwarded to your office. Okay, this is off his office. Oh, what's this? Nitrogen canister. Okay. Looks like something I'll need for breathing apparatus, but kind of. I have something else that I need to do right now. Transferring argon from canister to reservoir. Ready to discharge argon into smart alloy chamber. Uh I don't want air argon. Do I, do I, what? Start. What is that? Huh? Going on here. Uh, can't go anywhere. Can click. Oh. It is now safe to retrieve your key card and disengage the argon canister. Key card. Office key card. Doctor E. Sinclair. Will this allow me to get to the to the Mars base? Oh, to use those uh, the, that mining thing uh. yeah I wish I knew how, how much time I had before I in my this uh, Compound. Nuclear Laboratories Molecular Synthesizer Interface SL 100C 1. Killed me. <laughs> uh, can I leave this area? Hello? I need, I need medical attention. Uh, although I also shouldn't be interacting with anyone. Uh, okay. Attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Oh, this is going to be tricky. You're here. Uh, okay, maybe I can go to one, uh, to a lab and find a antidote or make an antidote. Whoops. Unauthorized visitor in lab building four. Uh, darn it. Obviously out of place and without identification, you are stripped of your biotech interface and escorted off the premises. Avoiding human contact would have been would have prevented this. Yeah, once again, I skipped uh, my AI companion's dialogue. It probably would have warned me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't die right away, so I might that that might I still think might that might have been the correct path to go to. I'm actually going to go here again. 
grab uh, that canister thing and save. And then. In the year 2310, yeah, can I skip in the that? corrupted history, an influential scientist, Dr. Enrique Castillo, is assassinated during his speech at the Symposium on Alien Contact. Without his impassioned arguments for the benefits of sharing culture with other races, the sentiment of the scientific community toward alien contacts swings to an isolationist attitude drastically altering history. Yeah, who is this guy? N another time traveler who's been following me, I guess, or who knew I would be here? this I also learned read in the manual that I have to be careful how many items I carry because if I carry too many of them then it said the least important item will get deleted but I think uh, can I grab this no I think if it gets deleted it might go back to its original uh, time zone not quite sure but said that if I have an item uh, once I have an item I can't like go back in time and, and get it again it can only exist either in my inventory or in the original timeline so maybe that means once it's not in my inventory it will go back to its original timeline yeah let me uh, save I'm gonna use multiple save files since uh, I don't know if how f problematic is making a mistake. Ready to discharge Argon into smart alloy chamber. Smart alloy chamber. So this is like a 3D printer, maybe it will make make something for me. Now safe to retrieve your key card and disengage the Argon canister. Okay. Argon canister. Is the only point of this just to get a key card, maybe? Yeah, can't get anything else. What is this? Yeah. Doctor Sinclair, your messages have been forwarded to your office. Oh, so this is not his office then. I think there was. I think there was a. map of his office uh, outside hmm. oh maybe yeah this office key card of course this will allow me to get inside his office okay I should go here wait for him to go okay where was the map again attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex yeah this was a match I am here Dr. Sinclair is one two three four the fifth one on this corridor and this is the elevator I think so I have to go this way count five doors going to his room I still want to go into one of the labs though to make sure. Maybe see if I can. Okay, this is the elevator, so this. This should be where the office is. 
Okay, this should be a lab. This laboratory is open to authorized personnel only. Okay, never mind. Okay, one, two, three, four, and the last door should be Sinclair's office. Wait, is this a door? Wait, is this a door? Uh, this laboratory is open to authorized personnel only. Yeah, shouldn't there be a door here? Did I miscount? Dr. Elliot Sinclair is currently at the conference. Key card oh. is required for entry. Okay. Yeah, I guess I miscounted. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's an antidote in his office? What is... What is this? Oh. A sword and a melon? What? Ricky Castillis, you got a piece of Okay, nothing here. this snake okay. oh I can grab this sword I think or or this gun agent five do not disturb the current environment and possibly the current time stream without extreme cause also I... as a TSA agent you are forbidden to carry lethal weapons under protocol 37. I have extreme cause. There's someone out around here trying to kill me. Uh, not all morphing time bending. I had an interesting thought today while working on the contact sensitive smart alloys project. It's given that all elements behave in a manner that is consistent with their atomic properties. For example, it is consistent for manganese to bond with barium cobalt in a very particular way under certain conditions. In a sense, these universal instruction sets are similar to the DNA which regulates the behavior of all cells in biological organisms. This mm -hmm. being the case, it's conceivable that any non-organic matter can be programmed to respond at the molecular level to a set of predetermined instructions and instruction huh. codes. So imagine a lamp, which upon command could take the form of a chair, a table, or even a work of art. The possibilities are infinite. I'm confident that a proposal to do further research in this direction will be met with approval. Hmm. Nice glasses. Energy level, 50%. Uh-oh. This month has been fraught with discoveries about the morphing process. We learned how to morph all of the elements, but only after we realized that a certain few of them are immutable, specifically the inert gases like argon and krypton. Mm. Well, because of their unique electrochemical properties, they simply are immutable. Even worse, these elements actually interfere with the bonding of surrounding molecules and bring the whole process to a halt. On the plus side, we have also discovered that if proper care is taken, even organic matter could foreseeably be altered in form. <clears throat> this journal is, beyond a doubt, the most important of my career, as today marks my first success in the application of time distortion theory by creating a localized neutrino acceleration matrix and I was able to bend time for just a fraction of a second. Anything entering into the distortion field slipped back in time for just a moment, creating a visual effect similar to light refraction in water in the swimming pool. Hmm. It, may, it may not seem like much, but it's truly more than any physicist could hope to achieve in a lifetime. And while it may be eons before there's any practical application of this theory, 
Everything great was achieved one small step at a time, and this is definitely the first step. Help Saikon grew, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'd stick, skipped another. Oh, probably avoid me talking about my energy level. Hidden sweat. Hello, Elliot. This is Dr. White again. I still haven't received results from those morphing tests that I needed the other day. I know you're as excited about this breakthrough as I am. But if you expect to get any credit in the upcoming scientific journal, I'll need to see some practical work from you very soon. Give me a call. Will my energy recharge it once I go back to the Pegasus? Hello, Elliot. This is Dr. Walczyk. I'm calling to check up on our progress after the neurotransmitter equalizer that I prescribed. I'm afraid that the stress you are under may be a bit much even for this increased dosage. But still take only two a day, even if you are experiencing the anxiety attacks or rapid mood swings like we had last week. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Hmm. Not as, not as useful messages as I hoped. Yeah, once that goes red, I have to go back. Uh, in t uh, go back to the future. <laughs> Uh, oh. oh, Dr. Sinclair, say, why are you bringing your antique elephant gun out of your office? Uh, You're not Elliot. Security, security, don't shoot the man with the glasses. Dang it. Hmm. Yeah, looks like it's very easy to make a mistake in this game. <laughs> Although I'm apparently... Maybe the mis maybe every maybe every mistake will be met with immediate failure. So maybe uh, there's not like a chance of of making a mistake that would only if only I will only see the repercussions repercussions later down the line. Okay, so there's a canister of argon. They said argon cannot be muted. What about nitrogen? Can I can I replace the argon canister with? Nitrogen canister? Although it seems low though. It seems empty, yeah. Where would I fill a nitrogen canister? And why do I have this dart? Liquid compound. Maybe use the use it when making an antidote somewhere? Uh Hmm. Okay. Can use this transferring argon from canister to reservoir. Ready to discharge argon into smart alloy chamber. Yeah, why why are they using Start. argon if they said they can't use it? I click here and no matter where when I click it it will always turn into this. It is now safe to retrieve your key card and disengage the argon canister. Okay, yeah, I can. Oh wait, I got both items. Hang on, I didn't, didn't notice this. Yeah, I have an argon canister as well. Wow, so yeah. why do I need? Why do I need an argon canister and a nitrogen canister? I wonder. Compound analyzer, can I, can I analyze my this liquid compound? Ice compound to be analyzed into the analysis chamber. Okay. Nucleotide compound analyzer SL one hundred A. Okay. Assessing polarity, checking for nuclear emissions, evaluating molecular structure, scanning polypeptide chains. Chemical, complex dimahydronate based liquid tranquilizer. Sending analysis information to molecular compositor. 
molecular compositor. Uh, okay, can I... Can I manufacture an antidote right here, I wonder? Do I need to manufacture it with this? Um, 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 um. Base compound to be analyzed into the analysis chamber. Uh, yeah, I might not have the items to produce. Nuclear Laboratories Molecular Synthesizer Interface SL 100C 1. Oh, here we go. Now receiving download of molecular information from compound analyzer. Diamond hydronate is a relaxant commonly found in sleep and health aids. In combination with other drugs, its effects can be fatal. It is used as a base for many different forms of tranquilizers. There are antidotes known for several diamond hydronate based tranquilizers, all of which are members of the Thorazine family. Bill Thorazine molecule. Bill Thorazine base molecules have been pre programmed. These molecules are stable. Variations must be selected manually. In the event mm. that an unstable compound is being created, you will have to begin again. After all three molecules have been designed, an antidote can be synthesized. Okay. Base ah. molecule number one. Um, 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 um. Um. This? Um. Hey, what? Base molecule number one. Hang on. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah, come on. Base molecule number one. Okay, I'll, I'll pick. Energy level, 50%. Yeah, yeah. Base molecule number one. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Maybe I'll only proceed after I pick the right one. Base molecule number one. Oh, that looks not promising. Okay. Wrong. Okay. Base molecule number one. Uh, I guess it's just trial and error. Yeah, this is the first one. Base molecule number one. One of these two, then. Base molecule number one. Right, okay, now. Nope. Base molecule number one. Okay. Nope. One, two, three. Base molecule number one. Nope. Base molecule number one. One of these, uh, yes. Base molecule number two. Oh dear, gotta do this again. Oh no, I don't have all day. Come on. Please don't tell me I have Base to do one again. Number two. Okay. Base molecule number two. Okay, one of these then. Base molecule number two. Base molecule number two. Okay. Come on, we'll skip Base this animation. Base molecule number two. Base molecule number two. Two. Wait, oh! I already, I already did that one. Uh, dang it. Base molecule number two. Yeah. Well, at least once I do this, I might. Base molecule I might, uh, number two. Go back and have time to. Yeah. Oh. Base molecule number two. Time to recharge my energy. Base molecule number two. Well, at least there are only three molecules there, I think. Base molecule number two. Whoops. Yeah, I don't think this give any hints Base as to two. the order. Yeah, I see. Energy level 
25%. Okay, okay. Whew. Lucky. Nice molecule number three. Ah, come on. I hope I don't have to do this again if I return to this timeline. Will he just shoot me again and I'll have to do this all over again? Uh, I should have maybe written down the, these orders, the order of these buttons. Oh wait, is this always the, the same shapes, maybe? Yeah. So regardless of where they are... Uh, which was on there? Maybe, yeah, they kind of remind, re re resemble letters. So like O, J, I, D, C, Y. Okay, wh where is the molecular synthesizer? I'm not familiar with... Oh, here we go. I'm not familiar with this lab. Got it. Am I cured? Okay, well, I don't have time. I don't have time to walk around this time, so I gotta go back to the Pegasus. Okay, will my... If I go back here, will my, will my energy be restored? Joke's on you, I already have the, the antidote. Yeah, yeah. Agent 5, you have just been... Hey Bartonag. Yeah, I'm jumping jumping around through time. <laughs> First time I'm playing this, so I have no idea what to do sometimes, but I think I'm 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 making some good progress. Yeah, it's okay. It's probably late for you. I mean I was took took a while for me to get all the stuff that I wanted to present in that stream ready, so stream was very late, but I don't mind if you only watch the, the the VOD. Okay, hang on, let me save. I don't want to do the, all that puzzle again. Uh, mm -hmm. All conference attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Uh. Really? Having some health problems? Uh oh. Nice out. Security. Mm. <laughs> the thing I just saved.
Yeah, this is one of those adventure games that kill you at the slightest mistake. Okay, I think I remember where to go now. Yo, water allergy? Whoa. All conference attendees must, must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Must be pretty tough. Uh, I've known someone with a with a milk allergy, like actual actual problem with uh, milk touching their skin or something, and not just lactose intolerance, but actual milk allergy. But I've never heard of someone with a water allergy. Yikes! Oh, well, I hope it's at least something that manageable with with treatment. Soft tissue. <laughs> Dr. Elliot Sinclair is currently at the conference. Key card is required for entry. I still have the key card, right? Yeah. Uh, so have you played this before, Bart Snagler? Or is this your first time watching too? Hmm. Cool. I never played them, but I've been curious about it, especially since the, like this company, Presto Studios, is the same one who made Mist 3, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, I thought I thought I was going to grab the sword here, but apparently the, I grabbed the gun instead. Agent 5, do not disturb the current environment and possibly the current time stream without extreme pause. Also, as a TSA agent, you are forbidden to carry lethal weapons under... Yeah, yeah, I have extreme cause. Don't worry. Uh, I wonder if I leave and come back here, can I shoot the guy that keeps uh, hitting me with a, with a dart? Oh, wait, can I shoot him with a dart instead? <laughs> I don't think you, you can combine items in this game, though. You can't, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Old rifle. Grenade trigger. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can shoot one of those rude robots that can have been uh, attacking me. <laughs> uh, anything here? Mm hmm. Unfortunately, I was not able to make uh, to get uh, the second and third games to run on on Linux here. I will only be streaming the first one. Welcome to the symposium on alien contact at the World Science Center in Sydney, Australia. The primary purpose of this conference is to allow the scientific community a forum to exchange ideas and opinions about joining this advisory of peaceful beings. The primary debate will take place in the main auditorium complex on Wednesday at 9 o'clock with keynote speakers and world-renowned scientists Dr. Elliot Sinclair and Dr. Enrique Castillo. The debate will be followed by meetings in conference rooms where the many discussions revolving around this volatile issue will be held. Information on discussion groups will be available at the conference check-in at the entrance of the main auditorium. Accommodations are being provided at the new Sydney Metro Cosmopolitan Hotel by the Shuttleport in New Darling Harbour. Thank you. Have a wonderful conference. I get a new chair. I mean, I got, I got one early last year. I mean, I even streamed myself building this chair. <laughs> I think when around April last year I, that I got this chair. Okay, so if I leave here, I'll get caught immediately. 
Well, now I wonder, is the guy who shot me the same one who's going to assassinate the doctor? So if I... If I kill him, will that... If I shoot him with this assault rifle, will that stop his, the assassination attempt? Hmm. So yeah, I've been, I've been running uh, everything on Linux since I started streaming. So my streaming software, I use, or use OBS instead of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, OBS Studio? Or Streamlabs OBS, I, I can't use that because it only has a Windows version. I use regular OBS Studio, I mean. Uh, and uh, yeah, every every game, most games, that I, most of the retro games, I, if they can run on DOSBox, I can run them just fine because DOSBox runs really well on, on, on Linux and, and Scum VM as well. But... Uh, but yeah, sometimes other other games I have to emulate them with uh, Wine, em their, their Windows version, I have to be emulate. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, every time I decide to stream a game, I have to first test it to see, uh, is it playable? And if it's playable, is it streamable? Because sometimes a game is playable, but OBS won't capture it for some reason. Am I an open source kind of guy? I mean, uh, I kind of... At first, I think I didn't want to use Linux, but uh, I think I didn't want to upgrade to Windows Vista at the time, so I switched to Linux, but then I ended up liking it, <laughs> so I just kept with it and, and not bothered to switch back to Windows ever since. So yeah, I, I used to use Windows XP, and then I switched to Linux, Ubuntu, and then uh, I didn't, didn't switch back, but but yeah, now now I'm... Even if I do get a Windows 10 PC at some point, it'll probably be a dual boot because I still would like to. I'll, I'll still like use Linux for everyday stuff and everyday stuff and work, and then use Windows just to play a game or stream a game if if I need. Because <laughs> yeah, there are still some stuff that I would like to use that are unfortunately available only for Windows. So, but but yeah, I, I mean I've been using Win Linux for many years now and yeah there have been some problems with uh like graphic driver compatibilities that i have to do a little research and to figure out how to fix but but yeah i've been able to uh, do my own os maintenance <laughs> whenever a problem arrived uh, i would look up online how do i fix this okay and then i'll fix it I mean, I used to have a, a dual boot with uh, Linux and XP, but then... Oh, hey, Norman. No, I didn't write my own drive, my own, my own graphics driver. <laughs> Even though I, know, I I can code, but that's a little too too far. I, I'm or at least too too much for me to bother learning. I'd rather. I unfortunately I was able to eventually uh, figure out how, how to fix. Agent 5, Protocol 37, initiated time uh, travel. Any problems that arrived. Return unauthorized item to original location. Oh, I can't... Can't leave with, with the gun. Huh. So do I use the gun somewhere inside here, then? Yeah, I have to put it back. Huh. Point in grabbing the gun then. I got these canisters. Some pixel hunting here in case I miss I miss anything. <laughs> if I shoot the snake. <laughs> What's the point of the snake here? I mean like I said, like if I leave through the door. I'll I leave through the door, I'll get failed immediately. 
Yeah. Oh, Dr. Sinclair. Say, why are you bringing your antique elephant gun out of your office? You're not Elliot. Security! Security! Don't shoot the man with the glasses! The funny looking scientist. Large stuff on his on his uh, pockets. Hmm. Okay, what? What if I don't have the gun? Will he say the same thing? Or will I be able to leave? Oh, Doctor Sinclair, aren't you speaking at the conference right now? Wait a minute! If you were speaking at the conference, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you just think too much. Goodbye, Dr. Sinclair, and don't eat anything toxic now. See ya. Okay. What if I grab the gun now? Is he just gonna pass by again for some reason? Yep. Oh, Dr. <laughs> Sinclair, say, why are you bringing your antique yeah, yeah, yeah. gun out of your office? You're not Elliot! Security! Security! Okay, how do I speak? How do I skip videos? <laughs> huh. I can't take the gun out through the door and I can't take the gun out. What if I don't have it as an active? Probably doesn't matter, but I want to check. Oh! Dr. Sinclair! Say, why are you bringing your yeah. antique elephant gun out of your office? Doesn't matter which which You're item is Elliot? active at the moment. Security! Security! Don't shoot the man with the glasses! <laughs> Dang it, I thought I... Thought I had this figured out. Get the gun, go back to... Go back in time and shoot the... Whoever shot me. Okay, maybe I'll do some more exploration here. Yeah. yeah. Electronic pamphlets. Yeah, doesn't seem like there's anything here. If I could use the gun anywhere, it would it would probably change the angles, but doesn't seem like. And use it anywhere here. What's with this? What was? What's with this watermelon? Man? Can I grab the sword then? No. Uh. Just checking. Yeah, like I said, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Huh. Okay. okay. I guess I'll put this back and walk around some more. Oh, Dr. Sinclair! Aren't you speaking at the conference right now? Wait a minute, if you were speaking at the conference, you wouldn't be here! <laughs> Sometimes I just think too much. Goodbye, Dr. Sinclair, and don't eat anything toxic now. Don't eat anything toxic? I don't think you need to tell me that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, then back at the map location, right? Yeah. Dr. Thompson, please report to conference check-in in auditorium complex. Uh, save here. Where else can I go? Can I... I'm at number three. Oh, I'm actually on the other opposite side, so I'm actually... The main auditorium should be there. What about this storage area? Hmm. I wonder, can I go inside? Oh, dang it. Keep skipping her. Nice. Out. Security. Ah. Uh, oh, good thing I saved just now. 
Yeah, the game so intent on in killing me, I'm gonna save at, at every moment. Uh, about this side. No? Being careful at every step of the way here. Oh, wait. The entrance to the storage was here. According to the map. Right? Oh. This laboratory is open to authorized personnel only. Okay. Where'd you come from? There was no one there. <laughs> I was just I was just here. There was no one here. How where did they sign this go? Maybe they went and come came back. Maybe they were lost. Uh can I go here? Wait, this what? Tempered door? Needs to be lodged shut from the inside. With an added amount of leverage, this door may be pried open. Added amount of leverage, eh? As in... Uh, this futuristic crowbar? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tele zoom. Enhance. Oh. Subject is armed. I wish I had the gun just now. Okay, what happened there? Just shoot me? Uh. going on oh this is a conveyor belt thing uh, yeah what were the what, what were those purple beams biorhythms of life forms detected nearby Extreme caution advised. Uh oh. Dr. Azimi, please report to Lab 5R in the West Wing. Yeah, I gotta be careful with each step. So I don't skip her warnings of someone approaching. Detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Okay, okay. Someone in there. Got it. Uh. Darking. Uh. I'm hoping I'll find the, the gunman before he assassinates the scientist, but I have no idea where he might be. Probably one of these uh, windows. Yeah, navigating sometimes is a problem in this, in this game. It's not quite... Uh, obvious where you can go. Uh, wait, I'm going back. Oh, where am I? Uh, yeah, where's that map biochip? Do I have it here? Nope. Why is auto tracking unavailable in pressurized environments? Could I could use a map 
in every, every environment. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing I can't go in there. It's probably full of people. And it looks like I just went around this area. May I see your badge, please? Uh, Security, we have another protester at the auditorium entrance. Hmm. Okay, so maybe there's something I missed. Wait, no, not here. Something I missed in that dark area. Tamper door lockman must you have entered by force. Yeah. This door Yeah, yeah, I know. Weird, yeah. Um, why did nothing happen when I get sh got shot by the by this guy? Emperor's flux. Yeah, he's another time traveler. He's the one who's going to kill the scientist, Doctor Sinclair. Did he miss his shots? <laughs> what's, what's the deal here? Try to shoot me, but missed. Oh, my energy went down. That's okay, it was way up. <laughs> energy to spare. I figured, figured it would, his gun would be a little more lethal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lots of, lo Dr. lots of... Please report to Lab 5R in the West Wing. Lab 5R. Is that important? Should I, should I go to that lab? Oh yeah, can't go here. Can't go here. And here there's someone inside. What if I talk to him, though? I mean, I don't think I can talk to anyone, but I don't want to see what happens. Oh, you left me a message. Excuse me, can I help you? This is a private office, you know? Uh, okay, immediate failure. <laughs> yeah, how's my scoring? New Sydney is where I am, right? Yeah. I got full scores in, in prehistoric, but yeah, that was pretty simple. NORAD 6 is the base where the, miss, the nuclear missile launched, Mars Colony, called Orion TSA is where I started. So yeah, I guess the, the entire game takes place in all of these uh, four time periods, I think. I actually thought, uh, like, I th actually thought there would be like multiple missions where you'd have to uh, like fix one thing, then fix another thing, then fix another thing, not Fire fix one entire, one whole thing. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I read in. I read the manual and figured that I would have to pick objects in one time zone and and to use it in another, just like I did with this crowbar. I picked it in in the. I picked it up in the Mars colony. And use it here. Yeah, like I said, see if I missed anything over here. Yeah, there's this door. I'll go here. What is what about this thing? Oh, it's just a, di a dividing line. Hmm, 
I wondered was was the guy who went to lab that lab the guy who kept uh, stopping me from leaving the office with the gun because I figured yeah if I had the gun here maybe I would be able to shoot the shoot the the assassin from that window try go back to the Sinclair's office or well, not Sinclair uh, uh, yeah well, actually let me try and go to Sinclair's office I, I haven't been there yet go back into uh, Enrique Castillo's office try and grab the gun now maybe Dr. Sinclair's office. E. Sinclair. Oh, Sinclair's office is the one I have. Okay, so it's not... Uh, wait. E is for Enrique? Is it Enrique Castillo Sinclair? Is this the same guy? No, no. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> Liner storage. Lab E. Try going one of these labs. Uh, kind of curious. This laboratory is open to authorized personnel only. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I can go instead inside this lab. Hopefully, no one's inside. Oh, this is the one I came... I was in. This is where I started. I see. Okay. Well, so at least I'm getting a, a sense of... Ooh, of where I am in this area. Kind of, kind of remembering the layout. Nakamura, let's watch the saloon. Yeah. Yeah, I think I tried going to the other labs. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I guess... Sinclair's office it is again. Yeah, I think I miscounted the doors. It's just, I think only four doors. This one. Dr. Elliot Sinclair is currently at the conference. Key card is required for entry. I have a key card. Don't worry. Oh, middle of the door. Yeah, you. S <laughs> Even though you, he puts the key card here, I have I have to put it in the middle of the door. Okay. Yeah, why can't I look at the snake? I wonder. Okay, are you going to stop me again? There he is again. No. Dr. Sinclair, say, why are you mm. bringing your antique elephant gun out of your office? None of your business. You're not Elliot. Security! Security! Uh. Don't shoot the man with the glasses! Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Rhythms. Wait for her to leave her office and then go inside, I wonder? I mean, why, why was that door not just locked like all the others? I wonder. Hang on, let me check something on the other side. Yeah, I check out. Oh! I skipped a message. Oh dear. Ah. Sorry, sorry. 
Eh. Figured. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I didn't... Wait, wait, wait. What if I just go straight and not look to the side? Because when I went around and I came back, there was no one... No one there, or... Okay, maybe there there is something there, but the only way to get there is to go around. Maybe if I, every time I go this way... I'll get stopped, yeah. Figured. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not even gonna let you do, finish your screaming. <laughs> okay, let me try this. There might be something in the in the equivalent office on the other opposite side. And like I said, maybe the only way to get there is through here. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. I thought, like I said, I thought, I thought, oh, if I had the gun and I could see, I mean, this looks like a window looking up the main hall, and the main gun, the gunman might be somewhere visible here. If I had the gun, I could shoot him, but maybe I just have the wrong. I'm on the wrong track. Yeah, I do, I do believe I'm on the opposite side here. There are people on that on, over there. Oh, wait. Oh. No, let me check here. Okay, wait. There. There's someone inside here, but... Oh, wait, that's the gunman. That's... The... Get him! Please welcome Dr. Enrique Castillo. Get him! Let me get him! You won't get away with this. Uh oh. Dart, hey, don't don't tell me what to do. Come on. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, robot plasma weapon easily seared through the protective layers of your bio suit. Surviving the, this encounter would have required more resourcefulness. Well, at least I'm on the right track. Of life forms detect yeah, that's what I meant. No, even if you know the answer, don't don't tell me. <laughs> even if you think you know, try and figure it out. I mean, I I thought about arming the that gun with the dart, but just the dart itself. I don't have anything to fire it with. Fire it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just try my try figure it out myself. Don't mind. That guy always stopped me when I tried leaving with a gun, so... Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna keep, keep throwing suggestions. Ooh, if I stand here, 
I can't stop it, sorry. Uh oh. that make no sense what, what are you talking about <laughs> come on <laughs> okay then I have to save before opening the door apparently I don't have a lot of time after after your suggestions are not real suggestions so what? <laughs> you're just confusing me then Yeah, this looks like there's the central area. Yeah. The two purple doors appear to connect to this central corridor here, and one of them was locked, so the other only the other one. Uh only with the other one can I can I can I gain access to it? A strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. Okay, okay. Extreme caution, that means save before doing anything. <sighs> Let's see, what do I have here? Let me just hit him with a crowbar. Shouldn't work. No. Yeah, I might need these canisters. Hmm. Maybe I don't have what whatever I need to defeat him. <laughs> Just then. What did I? Yeah, I, I thought I. Yeah, that's why I meant. I remember. I remember thinking that. Oh, if with this gun, I might be able to. I might be able to defeat the robots. Okay, let me try going back to the Mars colony, see if that key card works in the mind card thing. Like I said, I might not have the whatever I need to fix that, but finish this area. But, so yeah, let me see. This is the NORAD, this is the mark. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried, I kept pressing forward to see if I could uh, go to him while he was looking away, but the game wouldn't let me. Either I need a, another weapon or I need a, something else to protect me against this gun. One has just departed from the East Gantry. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember trying to go here. Bienvenue à la colonie Morimoto sur Mars. Nous vous souhaitons une visite formidable. Bienvenidos a la colonia marciana Morimoto. Disfruten su visita. French, Spanish, English. Welcome to the Morimoto Mars colony. Have a wonderful stay. Very multilingual area. No Portuguese though. Okay, can I go in here? Oh, oh yeah. Out of my way. Yeah, we've been through this. You get, you throw me to the side. Ouch. Ouch. You know what I mean about rude robots? Has just departed upper transport sector. 
I wonder, is that robot the, the time traveler? Just... Yeah, I still can't... Still can't go in here. I mean, I thought I needed a breathing apparatus or something to survive in there. But even if I can't survive in there, I can't go into the buckets. They'll crush me. Okay, let me try this area. Maybe Dr. Sinclair's keycard will work here? Even though this is... Has just arrived in upper transport sector. Like several years before that conference? Yeah, let me check the map again, just, just in case it works. that noise in many cartoons yeah oh left left right 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 left and then keep going okay so yes actually it's left left right left left right 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 well two lefts and three rights and then keep going left I'm, I'm, I wonder I, I mean I'm I imagine I will need to know this if I am to drive that the cart. So left, left, right, 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 and then left. Wait. Oh yeah, this is where I got the. This is where I got the the crowbar. Please insert security access card now. Oh, security access card. So maybe the ID key card will not work. Office key card, probably not. Yeah. Where do I find a security access key card? Insert security access card now. Yeah, my own card shouldn't work. <laughs> I, try, I think I tried my transport card, debit card. Yeah. Okay, here's my card. It's uh, <laughs> hit it with a with a crowbar. Bang. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Yeah, where am, I, where am I going to fill these canisters, I wonder? Nitrogen, argon? Probably don't need this anymore, so I, I read in the manual that if you pick up too many items, uh, the least important item will get replaced. So this will probably be the one that gets replaced first. Maybe I can go somewhere else here that I'm not... I mean, I, there was also the sleeping uh, agent in the first area, the nuclear base. There was a few seconds before I passed out, maybe just enough seconds for me to pick up an object there and go back. Yeah, this. All arriving tourists are required to check in at reception area. Please refer to gantry kiosks for maps and information on the Morimoto Mars colony. Where is the reception area? There is no reception area here. <laughs> yeah, I just already already went through this. Again, I skipped her <laughs> warning. Warning! Life support systems not active beyond this point. Yeah, like I said, I probably need... Probably need, uh... 
breathing apparatus survive here. Okay, let me try going to that uh, that first base. Even if there is a sleeping agent keeping uh, keeping me from moving too far, might be enough to get something new. Because yeah, with adventure games, if you're stuck, look for a new item. <laughs> Getting a new item usually means key to somewhere somewhere else. military installation NORAD-6. In the altered history, an unauthorized missile launch leading to a nuclear explosion over the world unification talks ends the peace conference in Gorbistan, creating a resurgence of the nuclear proliferation of the 20th century. Your mission is to restore the proper flow of history by stopping the missile launch from occurring. Are you the time traveler? You are no match for me, human. But I love a challenge. Yeah, I'll give you a challenge. Like I said, I keep finding rude robots everywhere. Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. What is this? Environment control. Really? Okay, can't do anything. What about here? Ooh. Hello. I missed this for the first time. I'm on gun, cast contaminant. Section 6, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. Okay, can I... Can I grab this? There we go. It may be advisable to leave the gas canister in its current position. Why? Uh, this mode? Oh, it shows gas. Oh, hang on. Oxygen. Incompatible gas receptacle. Okay, can I put one of these canisters in? Got a nitrogen one here. Okay, dispense nitrogen. Okay. Well, we figured out where where to fill these canisters. I'm not sure what they'll be used for. Maybe that. Maybe that. Uh... Hang on. Can I can I fill this with another, besides another gas besides argon? What about oxygen? Yeah, incompatible. <laughs> Come on, just because it says Argon, it's incompatible? You too? No? Helium. Nope. Okay. Argon it is. Intake mode. Please choose valve mode. I'm taking progress. Okay, what if what if I put nitrogen perhaps, nitrogen canister here? Intake mode. Uh Yeah, I thought this was go this would go down if I kept pressing intake, 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 but it's not. Oh wait, that's the argon canister, of course. Why? Then? 
Oh, but the nitrogen also didn't go down. 7.8 intake. In progress. Still 7.8. Huh. Okay. What about this sleeping gas? What if I dispense mode? What if I choose a gas that makes this sleeping gas inert? Well, probably, yeah, probably can't choose any one of them. Yeah, I mean, I, kind of weird. Why? Why shouldn't I not? Why can't I shut this off? Okay, let me check. Yeah, it checks. Uh, where, yeah, where does it say that the... Huh. Which gases do we have? I have nitrogen and argon. I remember the guy saying that argon was immutable, so maybe I'll... I was thinking of taking nitrogen back to the... The... I guess it's kind of like a 3D printer that turns gases into objects. <laughs> uh, attached source. Okay, let me just, hang on. Can I not leave this area? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I can't I can't exit out of this window while this canister without the leaving this gas canister in. Okay. Well, let me save here, see how far I can go. Before losing consciousness. Defense command post on security alert. Access denied. Okay. Oh. Get your hands in the air. You didn't wake up last time, I didn't. By retrieving the sleeping gas, you will successfully awaken the personnel who then promptly apprehend you. Oh, I see. So just by removing it and then putting it back, I already already enough for them to wake up. Okay. Guess I go back. I mean, at least I, I made I did make some progress. I filled the, those canisters, so that's something. If I go back here, I might be able to use that uh, that uh, with smart alloy thing again to make something. Yeah, and I expected you to shoot me too. It's like a third, fourth time you do it. <laughs> Luckily, I already prepared the the antidote for his poison. Agent five. Yeah, yeah, remove. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. Already have the antidote. Okay, so let's see, can I use the nitrogen canister 
here. Save first in case I mess up and don't want to have to go back. Cancer? Okay, what about the office key? No? Oh! Transferring argon from canister to reservoir. Ready Wait, to discharge but... argon into smart alloy chamber. Okay, just use the argon right away. Start. I don't think it matters when I press the button. It'll always turn into this. It is now safe to retrieve your key card and disengage the argon canister. Uh, oh. Wait, the argon canister is not empty. Huh. Okay, that was weird. I'm expecting me that this would work, like putting... I could put this here and put this here. Okay, so maybe this is just the source of the argon canister, not a place to use the canisters. Huh. Okay, can I use this compound analyzer on this? No? Yeah, what do I what do I need nitrogen and argon for? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Can't use it again. Yeah, kind of confusing here, the interface. <laughs> I mean, I just clicked and automatically it respawned the, the office key and argon canisters here. And I, I click as if, as if I, didn't already, I hadn't already picked them up. Yeah, what about this? I mean, it says the messages have Stop been forwarded to your player. office. Your messages have been forwarded to your office. But the messages didn't really help. Didn't show anything useful. Okay, let me try. S Maybe there's something in the gun that I can pick up, and then leave the gun behind. Although. Yeah, like I said, there doesn't seem like a, there's a way to combine objects in this game, so... Yeah, kind of confused. All conference attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Dr. Greylis is currently at the conference. Keycard is required for entry. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back here. So yeah, now I, I'm, since I'm already familiar with this layout, I already know where, where his office is. I don't even have to check the map. Okay, what do having the canisters do? What about this thing? Is that a canister on top of this area? I can't pick it up though. you have these red this red dot thing and make me think that okay is this canister but yeah it might be just to show that he has a pet pet snake <laughs> yeah Enrique Castillo where, where why does he say E. Sinclair on his office is this, is it a, a different scientist where is maybe the Castillo doesn't have an office here? I guess that's why. That's why I couldn't find his name on the map. 
Agent 5, do not disturb the current environment. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Grenade trigger, rifle trigger, magazine. Automatic grenade launcher. I don't think there's anything back at, at my home base that I need. In fact, I, I don't think I can go back because I'm I'm being targeted there. <laughs> uh, and I can't go to the prehistoric area either. So trying to trying to think the other environments. Hmm. What what does having these canisters filled change? I mean, I don't, I haven't found anywhere else to use them yet. I mean, I thought I'd need to make a mask or something to breathe so I could get inside, not only get inside that uh, that area with the uh, uh, with the gears that's that has no oxygen, but also get through the the base that has the sleeping gas. It seems pretty clear that I have to keep the sleeping gas active so everyone everyone else stays unconscious while I'm the only one who who can move, move around. But in order to do that, I'll need something to breathe. That's why I thought I tried putting oxygen inside the argon because yeah, if I had a mask with nitrogen and oxygen I would be able to... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem in this timeline. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's... This antique assault rifle was issued by the United States Armed Forces in the late 20th century and fire from the cannon in shortly the burst of also mint condition. This is forbidden by TSA regulation. Why even give me the option if I can't use it? Come on. Yeah, I might as well go through my inventory, get some more, get some more information on each item. I haven't haven't really been doing that. If I press I, I get some information. Still contains a small amount of blue liquor. The rest of which has been injected into your bloodstream. I mean, even even if I could fire this dart into the the assassin, he wouldn't die right away. So. Not, not really a way to stop him. This would be a way to stop him, but I can't leave without with it. <laughs> okay, let's see. The high-pressure gas canister designed to hold argon and inert gas. The connector on the receptacle is based on a standard industry specification that dates back to the 22nd century. Yeah, that's why it worked in the in the in the first time time er, zone. <laughs> The same, the same uh, nozzle. Mm -hmm. uh, anything important here? Ultrasonic power assistant crowbar made of a strong alumina, alumina car alloy. Yeah, I thought about putting this into the gears to stop it, stop the buckets from going up, but it didn't work. Uh, yeah, this is just my wallet. <laughs> Personal card keyring. Card keyring could say the debit card, a global transport card, and a flashlight. Transport card is encoded with a personal database and destination code, which are required to use. Then additional codes must be programmed. Reprogrammed. Uh, right, so, yeah, this is just the antidotes. Antidote. Dimenhyd 
Giant compound. Composed mainly of Thorazine, yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't think this runs out. I mean, uh, every time I come in back into this uh, time zone, I get shot with a uh, with a poison. I have to keep drinking the antidote every time. <laughs> kind of annoying, but oh well. That's time travel for you. He allows Agent to open the storage vault, which contains the journeyman historical log. Yeah, I probably won't be needing this anymore. Still don't understand what the point of this watermelon is. is does he? Do you use it to, to play Fruit Ninja in real life? <laughs> he has a, a katana sword and 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 a oh Elliot Sinclair. Okay, yeah. So this this guy is is the guy with the beard is the one where, where with the office. I had an interesting thought today while working on the contact sensitive smart alloys project. It's given that all elements behave in a manner that is consistent yeah. with their atomic properties. For example, it is consistent for manganese to bond with barium cobalt in a very particular way under certain conditions. In a sense, these universal instruction sets are similar to the DNA which regulates the behavior of all cells in biological organisms. This being the case, it's conceivable that any non-organic matter can be programmed to respond at the molecular level to a set of predetermined instructions and instruction codes. So imagine a lamp, which upon command could take the form of a chair, a table, or even a work of art. The possibilities are infinite. I'm yeah, we saw. that a proposal to do further research in this direction will be met with approval. We saw the uh, lamp morphing between a, a bust and a and, and a lamp. So may, yeah, maybe the argon is not to change its shape; it's to stop it. But then, why does it stop in that weird shape this that I can't even pick up? Discoveries about the morphing process. We learned how to morph all of the elements, but only after we realized that a certain few of them are immutable, specifically mm -hmm. the inert gases like argon and krypton, well, because of their unique electrochemical properties, they simply are immutable. Mm -hmm. Even worse, these elements actually interfere with the bonding of surrounding molecules and bring the yeah. whole process to a halt. On the plus side, yep, that's what we, we saw. have also discovered that if proper care is taken, even organic matter could foreseeably be altered in form. Even organic matter? Yeah, well, we already saw the time time vanishing. I don't think I can, I'm missing anything here. And they, these messages also didn't really didn't really uh, help. Hello, Elliot. This is Doctor White again. I still haven't received results from those morphing tests that I needed the other day. I know you're as excited about this breakthrough as I am, but if you expect to get any credit in the upcoming scientific journal, I'll need to see some practical work from you very soon. Give me a call. Hmm. Hello, Elliot. This is Dr. Walczek. I'm calling to check up on our progress after the new neurotransmitter equalizer that I prescribed. I'm afraid that the stress you are under may be a bit much, even for this increased dosage. But still take only two a day, even if you are experiencing the anxiety attacks or rapid mood swings like you had last week. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you'll be just fine. <laughs> She's the one we met earlier. So now I'm thinking, he suggested that uh, even organic matter could be altered, so is the time traveler altering his own organic organic matter in this in this way is that how he is able to turn into that robot so will will this argon canister oops will this argon canister yeah yeah will the argon canister stop him from morphing into a robot i wonder although i don't think can i throw him this at him I 
this. Oh, worth a shot. Maybe I'll use the nitrogen canister somewhere else, like for the the mask. Okay, see ya, Bartonak. Thanks for dropping by. Oh yeah, I gave uh, I gave him pets every day. <laughs> he took a, a nice nap next to my bed, uh, next to me in on bed in bed today. <laughs> he's very cute when he's not biting me. He's, he's he's at that age where he's either resting or or running around all over the the house and wrestling with the other with one of the other cats. And if I try petting him instead of letting me pet him, he'll try and bite my hand. Yeah, he's a biter. Uh, wait, where am I? Yeah, this... Yeah, you get both the Argon canister and the key ring at the same time, so maybe the... Maybe going to this office was not to pick up an item, maybe it was just to pick up that hint about using Argon to stop and halt the morphing process. Oh yeah, I gotta do this again. Is gonna show up at the end and shoot me, but thankfully I'm full of energy, so not a problem. Mission cartridge. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of my my only lead so far is to. Throw the argon canister at him after I after I encounter him again. If that doesn't work, I might I might uh, leave. Uh, I might stop here and leave the rest uh, for next time because yeah, don't want to go on too long without making progress. Doctor Azimi, please report to Lab Five R in the West Wing. Yeah, it would be nice if I could finish uh, the stream with at least fixing one of the temporal anomalies. I feel like I'm close to this one, just... I'll try. Try this one thing. Because he's a time traveler, even if I defeat him here, he might. This might be his last stop, so I, I might still have to defeat him in the other timelines. Although, yeah, if I defeat him in the previous timeline, won't 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 I stop him here too? I mean, <laughs> yeah, here Agent Five, a strong temporal flux has been detected. Ex yeah, yeah. Save here. Get the Argon ready. So yeah, I can. He's oh. Oh. Doctor I can throw items at him. Come on. Hey, it worked. To proceed with the removal of the robot's biochips before initiating auto recall. Okay. How do I do that? Uh. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh. Nice. Uh. Okay. I guess I don't have to do anything else here. Uh. 
is what are these? Retina biochip? And like for retinal laser scan detection. What is this? It's called memory. Uh, well, I think I can recall. Has the rip being repaired? scientist who created time travel was the one who sent the assassin back in time Sinclair <laughs> oh. okay yeah what about this is that knife for retinal laser scan detection where do I where could I use that quite sure but hey I mean I did, I did make progress so that uh, I think that's a I think this marks a, a good way a good stopping point although uh, hang on let me, let me just make sure there's nothing else I can do back there I might I might have come back or too early let's do this again Yeah, I have a, I had a feeling that if I if I do this again, if I come back here, I'll just have to do this all over again, right? Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll save. Agent five. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. There was three bioships, right? One, red no bioship memory what about this third one mapping biochip oh he had he had oh wait aha i knew i missed something but his gun come on mission status repaired Mercury is the name of the of the assassin. Actually, have Whether one of his darts in that, his gun. <laughs> Although, I, I, like I said, I don't think I can eyes. combine objects. So, but 
Okay. Oh yeah, resolve. There we go. Now, now we can stop. <laughs> okay, but yeah, these two are still unresolved. But can I save here? Seven. If I load, I'll just back here. Wait, what? Games game crash. Can I can I not save there? Hang on, let me check. Before we leave, let me just make sure I'm at a good stopping point. Wait. Hang on, I got it. Sab out of windowed mode. There we go. But yeah, the game messes up if I if I'm. Uh, I'm not in the correct windowed size and mode. Okay, restore. I think, yeah, I think I picked another. Okay, it did work. Okay. Kind of worried there. What? Why did? Why did it crash from then? It was because I, I saved. It. Okay, so we can start. Next time we can start here. Uh. Yeah. Which here just. I do meet a robot here as well. I mean, do I, has just departed from the east camp. Should I throw a, an argon canister at the robot here as well? Maybe it, it is. It is. Is it him? <laughs> yeah, disguised. But yeah. Either way, I'm gonna stop right here. It's been already three, and a, almost three and a half hours. <sighs> well, since I started streaming, but more than three hours of gameplay, and I. Yeah, I don't want to get disconnected when I reach the four-hour mark. But yeah, but this I think yeah, this is good progress. One one out of three uh, temporal rifts or temporal anomalies have been fixed. So this is a good, like I said, good stopping point. <laughs> Even though I'm not in the, I'm not the the window is not active. It still tracks my mouse movements for some reason. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, really, been, I enjoyed this game. Yeah, I was kind of worried that I would, uh, like, I was kind of worried that because you can make mistakes, that I would make a mistake that would I would not be it would not be obvious right away, and I, then it was one of those games where you can get stuck because you did the wrong thing way back then. But yeah, like so far, every mistake is met with a immediate uh, failure. So kind of like some of the other adventure games, like Shadow of the Comet was one of the, also where also a mistake met with immediate failure so I'm not not quite as worried about uh, progressing through this game as, as I once was I also was kind of worried about the interface too I think uh, I tried I think I tried playing uh, journeyman 2 and I found the interface a little intimidating and couldn't figure it out it wasn't wasn't quite as intuitive as as the missed games interfaces. <laughs> So I was kind of, uh, but yeah, this time I, I read the manual, I've learned all the keep uh, short, shortcut keys, and so um, I figured out, uh, I think, like I said, I'm a little more familiar with how the interface works, so I'm, yeah, I'm more, I'm more confident now. So I'm next, I should be go, coming back to this next Tuesday. Uh, let's see, I, w I want to try and come back to uh, Blood this next Thursday, keep going on, on that first person, uh, first person shooter. I'm still. I've already saw. I've already finished episodes one and two. There are two more episodes to finish, and this uh, Sunday we'll be coming back to Warcraft two. And if yeah, if I manage to be, do the same amount of progress as I did last time, we might end the human campaign on this Sunday. If it, if it goes all if all goes according to plan, if I don't get too stuck. So yeah, if you like these kind of games, make sure to. Follow the channel and, and yeah, if you like adventure games, I, I have actually have a whole playlist of of the many adventure games that I've streamed so far on my YouTube channel. I'll, I'll be adding this one to that list. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had as fun and see you next time.